everyone, it's me, Lisa. I've got another box to share with you all, and this time it is from Umba Box. I did receive another Umba Box quite a while ago, um, so I'm kind of revisiting it, but it's definitely been a while. I don't even really remember what I received in that box. I do know that I received a discount on that first box. Um, from one of the many daily deal sites, but this box, the one I just received, I paid full price for, so we'll take a look and and see how it compares. One of the nice things about Umba Box is that they focus on small businesses, they include a lot of Etsy sellers in their boxes, and they're really focused on not only sending out new products that you may not have tried, but also introducing you the purchaser, me, uh, to the artists who are making these products. So one thing they do that I really like is in each box they include a description, whoopsie, not only of the artist, um, but of the, not only of the item included, I'm sorry, but also of the artist. So that's really cool, I think. So let's take a peek. Our first item here is from Neo Granny. I like that name. Um, it's an Etsy seller, and it is a St. Patrick's Day brooch. So you can see it's pinned on the back there. And that's pretty awesome. Normally I didn't do anything for St. Patrick's Day, but if you can see my nails here, I have painted already for St. Patrick's Day. It's over a week away. Um, this is the julep nail polish called Lucky that they came out with this month. It matches my pin quite nicely, so I am ready to go out and celebrate with the Irish next week. All right, the next item I have here, I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> um, it's a cute little yellow, yellow palm. It's picking up the light kind of funny there. Um, with a bendable bottom, so I guess you can just attach this to whatever you want. You could wear it in your hair, you could attach it to your computer. I'm not, I'm kind of at a loss. I just read the little brochure. It says that Christina from Love and Marshmallows makes yarn, whimsical yarn decor. Um, I just wish they had instructions for what this is and what I should ideally do with it. It's kind of cute. I just, I'm at a loss. So we'll move on. Next item here. This one is from Lauren from Material Good. And what we received from Material Good, I love this. It is a, a mini vase. And this funky light is definitely not picking up that color right. It's um, the color on the bottom is called sockeye, um, but it's very it's a very pretty corally color. And this is a homemade vase, so I'm pretty excited about that. I will definitely be using this. And I think the the vase redeemed the box for me. I'm excited about the pin, um, but that's not something I'll wear very often. I will definitely keep the vase out and use it frequently and I might just put it right on my desk and put a little butt in it. Actually, you know what I should do? I can put this little thing in there for now. Um, so yeah, the box was okay, especially with the addition of the vase. But the little yarn flower thing was a little bizarre. The pin was cute, but Umba Box costs $25 per month plus $5 shipping. So... Without this vase, I definitely wouldn't have felt like I was getting a very good deal or my money's worth even. Um, so this kind of helped redeem it as it is. Do I know if I got $25 worth of stuff in this box? I don't know. It's hard to say. Umba Box, I, I love their mission and I love that they support small businesses and they try to get the word out there. Um, I don't think they're necessarily as focused on value as some of the sites are, and that's okay. Um, it's a great gift box. It's a great one-off box. Again, I don't think it's a box I'm going to subscribe to and 
receive every month, um, but I might keep checking in with them every so often to see the types of items that they're including. So again, this was the Umba box from March, March 2013. And again, an Umba box subscription costs $25 per month um, plus $5 shipping. So 30 bucks a month, and you will get normally three to four, two to four homemade items from artisans across the United States. That is it from me with the Umba box. I hope you're all doing well and that you all have great weekends, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.